Well, when we start talking about your giants here, uh, there's interesting. You and I might have an interesting conversation. I think we we don't usually we have a, a pretty simple asshole of the week uh, that that is uh, non negotiable. It's pretty obvious why we would be on one side or the other. But you and I, I think, are going to debate this week who who the asshole of the week is when it comes to your San Francisco Giants. Yeah, the uh, big story here this week is J.D. Davis uh, in the shadow of the signing of Matt Chapman was released by the Giants. At the surface, not, isn't that's like, not too surprising. No, as soon as you signed Chapman, you knew that Davis's time was probably up. But the surprising part of it is he won. Uh, the The Giants and Davis could not come to terms uh, on a uh, contract, so they went to arbitration. And Davis won his arbitration hearing, get, getting uh, six point nine million dollars. However. Due to the current CBA, there was a there's a loophole that exists that if you're terminated within 30 days of uh, or if you're terminated before the start of the season in the arbitration agreement, you're only due uh, a month's worth of pay, uh, yeah. 30 days of pay service which, time. I think yeah, which is 1.1 million dollars, which is not necessarily. Uh, I'll take one point one million dollars. I'm, I'm not well. Fun. Yes, but when you when you woke up Monday morning thinking you had a job that was going to pay you seven million dollars, and which is which was used to be guaranteed. I mean, that's how that's how strong the MLB Players Association used to be. <laughs> we'll get into that. Uh, that baseball contracts are guaranteed. Well, this is a this is a loophole that that circumvents that guarantee. So. J.D. Davis woke up uh, thinking he had $7 million coming to him, and he soon learned that he only had $1 million. So he got a got a $6 million haircut, which <laughs> that, that'd be tough to, tough to swallow at any income level. So that loophole exists in the hastily agreed to, agreed upon CBA uh, as the season was fast approaching last, last spring. Thrown together, it seems like... Tony Clark may have missed this detail as we have not heard. No one has even heard of this loophole or it certainly hasn't been exploited until, until now. So I'm curious uh, how that came about, how much the giants knew if the players association even knew about this or understood how, how this loophole could be exploited. Yeah. I, that part of the story isn't uh, exactly clear. Yeah. Uh, Zadi is not denying it, nor is he saying Yes, but Farhan Zaidi. Yeah, but he did say his quote is everything we've done in this case is well within our rights as a team. And that's recognized. It's very cut and dried in the CBA. I'm 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 certainly not arguing with him about that. Uh, it is it is written that way. I don't think any anyone understood it necessarily that way, how it could be applied and how it, how arbitration, essentially the the agreed upon system of arbitration, could be circumvented by this by this one line of one line of text in the CBA. I don't think he's he's certainly not wrong in that he's he's abiding by the rules of the CBA. I think the issue that Zahidi is going to run into is the reputation he's going to get by being the GM, the first to exploit that, to first fuck over a player as as hard as he possibly could. Uh, just because that that mechanism is there for him to do doesn't mean he has to use it, and no one else has chosen to use it. Well, that's not the fact true. that this is over. That's not true. What, what's that? That so, according to an online hmm. site called The Defector, this has been used by other teams, but it's not. It's nothing as large of a contract. Okay, as this. okay, I hadn't seen. So I I had read that it had not been used, but yet yeah, I I could see how. Uh, either I misinterpreted that or um, if it's been used, but not nearly to this, this extent or the uh, monetary value or the, the name, you know, name value of the player. Right. Exactly. So, That's yeah. why it's not really been reported on because. Right. It, Cause it's it not was, a big deal. It's not. Yeah. It's not like someone was losing close to $6 million. They were. Okay. Well, thank losing. you for educating me on that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It is not the first time this is has been u- utilized by teams. I just would say Farhan has 
hurt his reputation though by using it to this extent over six million dollars, uh, which is not a whole lot for the Giants necessarily to absorb. Uh, it just, it, it's a bad look more than anything. I don't know that you know if if he had not done this, you know, if he would have just how Giants fans would feel if they just gave if they cut J.D. Davis and he got his six point nine million dollars. Well, that plays out. I, I just think it's it's the definition of an asshole move. I mean, he that that's why I'm going to nominate him for for the asshole of the week. But I think you've uh, you've got uh, you've got a, a yeah. different perspective, which I I can appreciate. I would I would say Tony Clark's the asshole. Why would you allow this to this. even be written into the agreement? Other than like yeah. the idea of, I mean, this is a throwaway. This is never going to happen. Like thought to at least to anyone who is of a uh, stature of uh, mid tier stature of JD Davis. Cause that's the thing. We're not even talking about like, it's, uh, I mean, you could really dick move someone like who ended up with like a 15 million or $18 million arbitration by cutting them and, and just paying them their 30 days of service. Paying sure. One month out of that. Yeah, yeah. Out of that. So I can't argue with that. I, I think that's a good that's a good point. Tony Tony should have known. I I think the explanation for that is he probably didn't even know about this, as that that CBA was negotiated at the eleventh hour. So many details were changed at the last minute. This is not an excuse, by the way. This 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 adds to your argument that he's an asshole for not. If it's true that he didn't even know about this, it's a, it's a fleet of lawyers that were negotiating those small points at that point in the in the negotiation process. So. Uh, he he is responsible for that, but to ask to have Tony Clark be, I don't know. He should be he should be uh, knowledgeable to every every minor detail. But this is something that few saw coming or few thought would be an issue. But it is obviously a major issue now, and it's going to be yet another sticking point when we get to the new collective bargaining agreement negotiations as our current one expires on December 1st, 2026. Yeah. So we get so another, we, we get another round of Manfred in the negotiations, which is not good. No, that's awful. Uh, yeah. We have very, very few uh, pieces are changing on the, on that chessboard. What is changing is even more acrimony between the players association and the owners because of incidents like this. Uh, it just, it just leads to more, more trouble between between the two parties. There's no way that you could look at this and say, you know, the players are going to feel good about this. Maybe they should have been more aware, but for the for the owners and specifically Farhan Zahidi sticking it to specifically JD Davis, it's a bad look, and it's not, it does not bode well for uh, the argument that the the owners have anything in their interest other than making more money. But what's and hilarious? It's, it's, it's What's hilarious about the loophole, I don't mean to interrupt you, is if, if yeah, J.D. Davis had taken the $6.55 million offer that the Giants made and it had not been ruled, if he had not won his arbitration hearing, if, if they had just come to an agreement, he would have gotten $6.55 million. Yeah, it's only uh, that's a really you, good point. It's only when you lose, the team loses the arbitration hearing. Yeah, when it's a when it's an agreed or it's a number that the arbiter comes up yes. with, not not what they agree upon. So yes, you're right. And so greed that, is not really good, good in that's all a, cases. That's a really good point to bring up. But you could also argue that the Giants always had this evil plan in mind and drove a drove a really hard bargain that on something that they thought JD wouldn't accept. Well, and because they knew that they they knew they had this in their back pocket, and I don't think he necessarily or his agent necessarily did. I, I think you're you're being way too diabolical on this because Matt Chapman got <laughs> Matt Chapman got signed like less than a week ago. Have, so JD Davis have you was listened to what I was supposed to be the starting right. third baseman. So that was their backup plan. But yes, if you've noticed on the five years we've been recording this, and for the years we've been writing the blog. <laughs> I, I am diabolical. I, I do not trust the owners. I don't, 
I don't think you do either. So well, I don't I, trust the owners, but I don't think like the I'm Giants overboard. Are, but yes, I don't think the Giants are like, oh, we could totally fuck this dude over. If we end up with <laughs> a third baseman later. I mean, like I, I don't, don't think it's like that, and I, <laughs> I don't think it's like that, and I certainly don't think they speak in that dumb voice you always do. Well, but, I, I, maybe I, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I think they speak in a, a very. Uh, well-toned voice, uh, intelligent voice that figures out ways to make them money constantly. And it, it's just, again, it's just a bad look. It's not, I think we're, we're probably stretching here to call either of these guys assholes of the week, but we haven't had assholes of the week in a while. So that'd be a fun conversation at least. Yeah, I mean, maybe unless it's not you really Tony believe Clark. Tony Clark's an asshole. Maybe it's the lawyers, uh, the lawyers who represented yeah. Tony Clark in those negotiations. <laughs> Someone, someone's to blame yeah. outside of the giants because this isn't just a, uh, uh, this is a big. This is the 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 first time it's been put out public facing. This isn't the first time it's happened, and it's not going to be the last time it happens between now and and twenty twenty six. So that's not on the giants. That's on the the people who negotiated the contract. Yeah, the, I, the that's that's fair. I just think I think you could point to either of them. And say I mean yeah, neither I mean, of them are necessarily wrong. I think they're just being assholes. So I, I think I we mean, can agree again, upon that. I do. Like J.D. Davis could have lost $400,000, but because he was greedy, he lost all right, all right. $6 million. Sorry, J.D. Because he works because he works for an asshole. So <laughs> I think we could we can end, we can end for that everybody. conversation. Everyone is an asshole in this situation. How about that? Oh my God. I like first, it. I like first it. Time of the, first time we're going to asshole round tripper. It's it's the Giants <laughs> and the and the CBA agreement for by Tony Clark. We, we and strive Tucker. for asshole equality. We yes. strive for asshole equality on this podcast. We'll just call it an <laughs> asshole draw this week, and that's it. <laughs> the asshole draw. I like that. Media.